Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. We've got a new unboxing. This one is Privateers Press's latest mini crate. This is the third one released. As always, I'm always impressed with the box it comes in. I think there's tons of personality, and it's probably one of my favorite boxes of anything that is released of this type. Uh, now, for those who don't know the Mini Crate, Mini Crate is a monthly release from Privateer Press that has a limited edition figure within each box that you could use in games of War Machine and Hordes. Now, let's open up and show off what you get inside for this one. So we get the figures in, something like that, and it comes with a card. So this is based on the original Fairgeist from Hordes with a revenant nod to Mr. Charles Dickens. Um, so this is the third one for December 2017. What goes around comes around and it comes with every in, uh, everyone in time. The Geist of Christmas yet to come. Get a little art on the uh, one side and a little bit of info on the other, especially as to what it's based off of. Now let's actually look at the miniature itself and see how it holds up. And this one has a whole bunch of pieces. Main part of it is resin, is the body. We've got the head, is pewter, goes in, looks pretty easy. And each hand and arm. It's in. Really easy as well. So that's basically what it would look like when it's done. Minus the head. Um, overall, pretty impressed with the figure. I think this is really nice, well done. Not noticing a lot of flasher issues. I think this part right there would need to come off. Um, that's about it from the top. I mean, it looks like it's cast really well. Uh, that would probably have to come off. Other than that, it's pretty well on the body. And the arms themselves, I'm not noticing a lot of flesh at all either. Detail is really good. You can look at the hand, the bony hands look really, really good. Um, you can actually see the kind of the joints on the bone, which is really nice. And yeah, a little tattered as far as the clothes, which is cool. And then the face with its skull-like look. Um, overall, this is a pretty cool figure. I think this is going to be really nice to, uh, to paint up, add to the collection. And yeah, I mean, if you're into your uh, into this, if you're into war machines, into hordes, or just into miniature collecting, collecting in general, you should really check this out. I think it's a pretty neat uh, release that they're doing. And um, yeah, this this is a, is a cool one. I'm kind of a little surprised we haven't seen more of these sort of releases yet from other folks, but maybe we will. Um, as always, you can order your own. There is a link beneath this video. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Now, if you're into miniature news, into gaming news in general, you should check us out at BoardGameToday.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, all at Board Game Today. And until next time, keep rolling those dice and get your game. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Now, what you can do that would be really helpful is subscribe or visit our website. We've got links right here that makes this super easy. By subscribing, you will make sure to get further videos down the road. And of course, visiting the website, you get all the greatest news. But just watching, we really, really appreciate it. Until next time, keep rolling those dice and keep it geeky.